What's up guys? So I'm gonna show you how to build this monthly budget template from scratch in Google Sheets. And honestly, like I get people asking me, how did you make this? Or can you teach me how to build my own? So here we are. This is what we're gonna to build today. It's got your income that automatically adjusts based on how you get paid, your bills with these satisfying little check boxes, daily spending tracker, and this dashboard that calculates everything automatically, plus this pie chart that updates in real time. And the cool part is we're building this completely from scratch, no templates, no downloads, just a blank Google Sheet. Because honestly, when you build it yourself, you actually understand how it works and you can customize it however you want instead of being stuck with someone else's setup. So I make budget templates for people, that's like my thing. And I figured instead of just giving you the finished product, I'd show you how to actually build one so you can make your own versions or modify this however you want. The best part is everything's connected. So when you change a number here, everything else updates automatically. No manual calculations, no confusion, just it works. All right, let's build this thing. So I'm starting with a completely blank Google Sheet here. First thing I'm gonna do is just rename this something useful, personal monthly budget or whatever. Now, the way I like to approach building templates is to get the structure set up first, then make it look good, then worry about formulas and automation. So we're basically gonna build the skeleton, make it pretty, then add a functionality. Okay, so looking at our finished template, I need to figure out where everything goes. If you want to follow along, I'm starting at cell C3. I'm gonna put the month in year selector here at the top, then income section, bill section, savings, daily spending, and then the dashboard over here on the right, starting at cell G3. Let me start by setting up these basic areas. I'll just type in some headers so I know where everything goes. Personal budget, month, year up here, income down here, bills, savings, daily spending, and then over here, I need space for the dashboard with the totals and pie chart. This is just so I can visualize the layout before I start building anything. All right, so now that I have the basic structure laid out, let's make this look decent before we add all the formulas and stuff. I always do the design part after I get the structure, but before I add the functionality. It's just easier that way. So I'll type in month and year, and then I need to create drop downs. For the month drop down, I need to go to insert drop down and then add every month of the year, January, February. You can change the color too. I'm making mine green, March. Okay, this is gonna take a while, but it's worth it. December, now hit done. For the year, same thing. I'll just put 2025, 2026, 2027, whatever years you want, then hit done. The cool thing is when I click on these, I get actual dropdowns. So whatever month and year it is for you, when you watch this video, you can set your budget template for that date. Pretty satisfying, honestly. Now for the income section, this is where it gets interesting because I want this to be dynamic based on how often you get paid. First, I'll create another dropdown for the pay frequency. So I'll add biweekly, weekly, monthly, and hit done. Now here's where the magic happens. I need to make it so when someone selects weekly, it shows four paycheck rows, biweekly shows two, monthly shows one. This is gonna require some if formulas. So here's a formula you can copy and paste. Basically, if I select D6, I select weekly, it will show paychecks one, two, three, and four. And that's what the array formula here does. If D6 is equal to biweekly, it will show paycheck one and two. If I choose anything else, so monthly, it will just show paycheck one. Now we can test it by selecting our paycheck frequency and it will show the correct number of paychecks. And we can list our paycheck amounts here next to paycheck. This took me forever to figure out the first time, but once you get it working, it's actually pretty cool. For the bill section, I created a table with the bill name, amount, and checkbox for whether it's paid. Under bills, list the name of the bill like rent and list them out. For the paid column, I'm gonna use checkboxes, which is actually a built-in feature in Google Sheets now. I'll select the cells where I want checkboxes, go to insert checkbox, and there you go, actual checkboxes. When you click them, they get marked with a check, which is perfect for tracking what bills are paid. 
I'll add some common bills like electric, phone, transportation, internet, subscriptions, gym. You can obviously customize this to whatever bills you actually have. Now let's add a savings section because having savings as actual line items instead of just whatever's left over actually helps people save money. So I put savings here as a header. Now we can add some common savings categories like emergency fund, vacation, maybe car fund, whatever people typically save for. This is pretty straightforward, just the savings name and the amount you want to save each month. The key is making it visible and intentional rather than just hoping that you have money left over. The daily spending tracker is pretty simple, but super useful. Just three columns, date, description, amount. I'll set the dates for the whole month, July 1st, July 2nd, etc. This is tedious, so there's a faster way using the sequence formula. I'll paste this formula in the description or comments to save time, but basically you can choose your month and year and it'll generate all the days for the calendar month. For example, February has 28 days, so it will automatically fill out 28 days. June has 30 days, so it will go up to 30 days. And next to the dates, we can fill in the things we spend money on that day and the amounts next to it. Now for the dashboard, this is where the summary goes. I made boxes for total income, total expenses, and left to budget. For total income, I'll use a sum formula that adds up all the paycheck amounts. So equal sum, and then I'll select the paycheck cells. For total expenses, I'll sum all the bill amounts plus any daily spending entries. And left to budget is just total income minus total expenses minus savings. The cool part is when you change any number in the income, bills, or daily spending sections, these totals update automatically. For the pie chart, first we're going to need a helper column, then set that cell below equal to income, one more below equal to expenses, and the final one equal to total savings amount by using equal sum. Then highlight these three numbers, click insert chart, and select pie chart. You can change the colors under Customize and Pie Slice. This is honestly one of my favorite features because you can visually see if your expenses are taking up too much of your income. Like if that expense slice gets too big, you know that you need to cut back somewhere. Let me test the template so far by filling in some example numbers. I'll put in paycheck amounts, let's say 2,000 bi-weekly. Bill amounts like rent, 1,600, utilities, 200, phone 90, and add a few daily spending entries like buying groceries, spending money on gas, shopping at Walmart, or getting a burger at McDonald's. And look at that, everything's calculating automatically. Our total income is 4,000, total expenses is 3,200, and left to budget is 800. It actually works. So that's basically how you build a multi-budget template from scratch. Obviously, there's a lot more you could add, like different expense categories, savings goals, debt tracking, whatever you want. The main thing is understanding how the formulas work so you can customize this to your specific situation. Like if you have irregular income, you could modify the income section. If you have different bills, just change the bill names. Building it yourself means that you're not stuck with someone else's assumptions about how you should budget. You can make it work exactly how you want it to. If you want to see more template building tutorials or have specific requests, let me know. I'm always building new stuff, so I might as well show you how to do it too. Anyway, that's how you build a budget template. Hope it was helpful. See you guys later.